Well, the Glendale Elementary School District has one of the biggest parts of the West Valley, and it's now considering closing some schools due to declining enrollment. In fact, the district's saying that they've seen a steady drop over the past six years, and now with COVID-19, those numbers are dropping even more significantly. ABC 15's Carla Neverete now has more on what the board will be considering today. Well, Imes Elementary is one of two schools being considered to close down due to falling enrollment numbers in the Glendale Elementary School District. Today, a meeting will be held by the school board to discuss the options, but no hard decisions will be made just yet. The, the Glendale and Elementary School District has been seeing the trend for years. The decrease over the next 10 years was already in our forecast. Take a look at this graph presented to the board. It shows a declining enrollment since 2016, steadily dropping from nearly 13,000 students to just 10,500 right before COVID-19. The pandemic came along and exasperated the situation. Today, Glendale has around 8,000 total enrollment. That decrease that you see of about 8,000, I believe 63 students or something is what we're currently getting funded on. Um, that does hurt us this year and it will hurt us next year. So I would just say the pandemic just makes that deficit bigger than what we had projected. Assistant Superintendent Mike Barragan says the district is looking at these demographics when considering closing schools, declining enrollment, lack of affordable housing, forcing families to move elsewhere, and low birth rates dropping by about 13% during the housing market crash of 2008. The question becomes, what impact does COVID-19 have on those birth rates even moving forward, right? So when you know when the, when the economy is sluggish, birth rates just historically have decreased. So there's less students in the system within this area and then also increase competition by other educational institutions. The approach is not just immediate, but a sustainable one for the next decade. And according to Barragan, the need to close schools like Imes and Sign Elementary Schools in phase one is at this point a necessity. For example, I think Imes and Sign in nine years, their enrollment's projected to be about 388 students. That's just not physically efficient or responsible. One other important aspect being considered is the school's buildings and their condition. We're throwing good money at bad money, you know, kind of type thing. And so that's the concern with sign. It's the facility and the condition of the facility. Some have been around for more than half a century. You're talking about, in some cases, the 40s, uh, 40s and 50s. Right now, the district is operating with a $13.5 million deficit. That number expected to grow to $17 million for next year. If this reconfiguration is approved by the board on March 11th, then the schools would close in the summer. For now reporting in Glendale, I'm Carla Navarrete, ABC 15 Arizona.